Hello everyone and welcome to another replay brought to you by Shiggy Starcraft. It is getting pretty late where I am so this may be my last one. It's going to be a fairly short one. Um, it is going to be a Protoss vs Protoss. Uh, El Debo spawning as the red Protoss in the 12 o'clock position. And my good friend Richie spawning as the blue Protoss in the 6 o'clock position. Um, I like to think that I've taught Richie a lot about uh, the playstyles that I like. And I know that sometimes he uses them and, and adapts to them. Anyways, this uh, is going to be here on Desert Oasis. And as I said, uh, Protoss vs Protoss. I'm going to speed up the openings and see if I can uh, just uh, cast it as best I can for a little bit. Uh, I want to fit this all on one YouTube video. Uh, both players getting a early pylon, and it looks like Richie's scout is going out quite a bit early. Uh, qu sorry, I should say quite a bit earlier than El Debo's. El Debo's is going to get his gateway and then scout. Richie's scout is already in his base, uh, doing a nice scout around the base, seeing what's going on. El Debo is chrono boosting his Nexus. I'm going to slow it back down now because it should all fit on one video now. Uh, Richie going for Gateway Pylon, or sorry, Pylon Gateway Pylon, and he does have a gas. Uh, no second gas up, and he is getting a Cybernetics Core. El Debo does see this. I believe this is in the Gold Division. And it looks like El Debo is also getting his Cybernetics Core and another Pylon, and it looks like it's going to be a complete wall off. He almost. Uh, corners Richie's probe into uh, the corner in the gateway, but uh, that just didn't work out. Since his pylon is late, that zealot is going to be delayed as he was supply locked. Uh, we are going to see a Vespine geyser here. Uh, now just starting to come up for El Debo. Uh, Richie's second gateway is coming up, and as his, his second gas. Yeah, so could have been a little bit earlier, but um, either way. Uh, Richie's only been in the beta almost as long as I have. I actually got him hit a key off of Facebook back when they were doing um, a ton of the pictures with keys on them. I was able to get one. I was using two screens um, and I was able to yeah type one out fast enough. Got him a key. So he got a, got in a couple weeks after I did I think. Um, he doesn't get to play all, too often. His job causes him to be gone uh, two weeks off or two weeks and then he's back for a week. So yeah, he doesn't get to play nearly as much as I do. Too bad for him. Anyways, uh, looks like he is going for a Stalker build, getting the Robotics Bay as well, so maybe Stalkers and Immortals, or... Um, I have no idea. We'll see. Warp Gate's not being researched, so that may be an indication of what he's going. Aldebo is just getting his Warp Gates and getting his second gateway. Uh, not yet mining out of the second assimilator, but hopefully he will soon is supply locked again so um, being supply locked twice causes me to think that he may not be in the gold uh, tons of extra minerals here and uh, now three pylons coming up he is not very well saturated so if we're looking at the income actually no they're fairly well saturated both of them I guess that was just deceiving could use a couple more but he is going off of the two workers per mineral patch fairly standard. Looks like uh, Richie is getting a Twilight Council, so we're, maybe we'll see a DT drop, or I'm not too sure. Uh, Stalkers as well, uh, getting his third gateway up and running is um, also. Three Stalkers out on the field for Richie, uh, compared to, oops, sorry, compared to one Zealot and two Stalkers. The Stalker does get caught on the outside. Unfortunately, if you don't set the rally point inside your base when you have a wall off, that unit is going to be stuck outside. El Debo is going to expand already, so yeah, nice. Uh, one Zealot and two Stalkers, still the only army he's got out. Getting a Robo Bay up, ooh, and a Stargate. Uh-oh, we may see some Void Rays coming in on Richie's base. He probably won't be expecting it, but... Um, He's got an observer already, but he should probably make his way into the base. He might see that Stargate. Uh, Stargate now producing that Void Ray, so uh-oh. And looking, we are seeing research, or sorry, Blink being researched. So I've got a pretty good idea of what's going to happen, but I'm not going to spoil it yet. Uh, fourth gateway coming up and lots of Stalkers. Looks like he's getting uh, his observer into the base so we can see the mineral line, make sure he's saturated. 
He might even go see if he's uh, got an expansion up and running. El Debo killing his own pylon, but building another one um, so that he doesn't get supply locked or doesn't lose power to any buildings. We are seeing two additional gateways being built. First, Voidway, Void Ray is out. Uh, no observers, immortals, or warp prisms yet. Blink is finished. And it looks like all he's doing is building straight stalkers. He did get himself supply locked as well. Um, but he did build a couple pylons and uh, rectified that pretty quick. Uh, did not get warp tech. Uh, getting another couple pylons and even more stalkers out. So quite a few. Uh, because of that supply lock, he is able to queue up a few in each building. Or a few in the two buildings. And... Back in Eldebo's base, we are seeing a second and third Void Ray coming out, and Eldebo does have an Observer up as well. Uh, hopefully he'll uh, morph these two gateways into warp gates as well, and he can continue in, or continue warping units in. Eldebo going for an obviously gas-heavy build, so the first thing he does at his natural expansion is set up both gas and put three workers on it. Uh, probe looks like he's going to go scout, or maybe set up a forward pylon, or maybe even expand yet again. We'll see. Uh, Chrono boosting more probes out uh, and transferring some off of the worker line. That is a very common thing to do. Uh, sometimes I will actually uh, queue up both nexuses to the expansion and uh, produce lots of probes out of there. We are seeing Richie push up the left side of the map. We'll see what's going to happen. More stalkers being morphed in and it looks like they are rallied all the way up to uh, the natural or one of the natural expansions of El Debo. And unfortunately his observer I don't think so, got to see that. Um, but we are going to see uh, Blink Stalkers coming up to the back of his base with an observer overhead. I'm sure you guys can guess what's going on now. I love this strategy. I absolutely do. I've used it once or twice. It's really fun to use, especially on players that don't or don't expect it. Richie blinks up to the top, uh, high ground. Um, missed one stalker, but uh, they are going to be able to take out these two uh, stalkers from Aldebo. Three void, four void rays coming in. Nice blink underneath them, uh, and they are going to focus down those void rays pretty quick. There's uh, one zealot here left. Unfortunately, warping in four more. This uh, Void Ray will not finish in time. They did have, or he did have a Warp Prism up as well. But uh, that is going to be all of the army. Uh, Richie is going to take out this uh, main base. Uh, lots of Stalkers here doing nothing. Could probably afford to come over and uh, scout out the back of this base. Or even uh, could probably blink up to the top and just help enforce this army. Uh, Void Ray tried to get out of the base, but unfortunately did not have enough juice in its thrusters and was caught back in the base by the Blink Stalkers. Uh, so, decent macro, actually uh, warping in more and more Stalkers as the game progresses. There is a, uh, an Observer in Richie's base, but at this point, um, unless he doesn't see this expansion and doesn't go towards it at all, I think that's going to be uh, the end of the game. Yep, yeah, so Blink Stalkers being very useful when you have a Observer, and uh, especially on this map, Desert Oasis. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. That will be my last one for the night, and I will see you tomorrow.